I've been having issues with my gear. I talked about that in my last episode. You can check out the link right here somewhere. So I'm working off the cuff here. I got two audio sources. I don't know how well this is gonna sound, so I'm just gonna go with it and I'll have to work with the footage and the audio later. I did another video at a bird sanctuary a couple of months ago. There's like a million birds there and I swear they didn't make as much noise as these five crows. Hello world and welcome to the vlog. This is a space where you and I get to ask some deep questions about life and hopefully come up with the courage to give some honest answers that'll get us moving and help us to reinvent ourselves. After a couple of weeks of dealing with frustrating limitations, I decided to embrace them. So I'm standing here with the flies swarming around me. It's like insect season right now. There's flies everywhere. They're like running up and down my legs and getting into my ears. But I can't worry about that, right? I can't worry about things that I can't control. So I'll just do a lot of swatting. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too distracting. It's not the regular house fly. It's like a smaller like fruit fly type thing. Not the only insect, there's other insects as well, which is making the, the birds also go crazy. There's a couple of crows, like five crows, just circling around and screaming. I had to wait for them to leave before I could start shooting. All with the hopes of pushing through these limitations and keeping the right attitude. This has been going on for a while, so I've been thinking about this. I've been analyzing my reaction and I've, I didn't realize how frustrated I can get with such little things. I'm usually pretty easy going, but little things like flies crawling around me kind of get on my nerves. I really want to understand what it is in me that makes limitations aggravate me so much. I was thinking about how I can use these limitations to my advantage. Something practical for right here, right now, like the flies or the crows. And I thought of something that I can do with the crows. Let me try it out. Know some things about him. We know he was a man. Jesus was completely human. He was representative of man because the Bible says he was identified, he was numbered with the transgressors. So in reading up on the concept, I find all these articles and all these things that relate limitations and creativity. There's a paradox of choice. When you have too many choices, you don't know where to start. So if you only have one thing, it's a lot easier. It eliminates all this, this whole thought process. You just, you just do it. And conversely, there's another concept. There's the whole concept of finding freedom through self-imposed limitations like rules. Sort of like in the military. I tried to find this talk that I listened to years ago by this army guy. Or oh, it may have been from a book called... Fly. It may have been from a book called Living with a Navy Seal. You should definitely check that one out if you don't know about it. It's great for this topic and many others. But the whole concept is basically predicated on not having to worry about the little things like flies, <laughs> not those little things, because you've made the decision ahead of time and they don't distract you from doing what you need to be doing. They don't pull you away and they don't take up any time in your life. I should get a medal for enduring the attack of the flies. <laughs> I've been here for an hour trying to do this. Here's where this gets really important and has a very practical application to our life. If you learn to adapt the right attitude about limitations, you will be able to avoid having them push you into complacency and you will have the motivation to push through those limitations and get to your goals. And that victory will give you the understanding and will give you the sense to see limitations for what they really are. Because the truth is, limitations are only a fence, a corral to keep you inside in complacency, surrounded by fears and frustrations. And criticism, a lot of criticism, and doubts, and plenty of other negative emotions. When you're stuck in that corral of negativity, you will not find the time or the energy or the motivation to think of anything that's important. So if you want to find answers to life's deep questions about God, about yourself, about the why of it all, you got to embrace the limitations.